asking us about the appliances that I use in the RV. So I figured I would do a little video to show you exactly what we use. Obviously, everybody has their own brands that they trust. We have tried quite a few brands like Black & Decker, Frigidaire, Farberware, and these are the products that work for us. They are not necessarily the most expensive or the cheapest, but they are the ones that have worked for us. So if you're not used to using the gas in your RV and you're nervous, this is the most amazing thing for you. I have gotten so much use out of this. I use it absolutely every single day. I make eggs on it for Ross. I make chicken. I make pancakes. You guys have seen it so many times in the videos. Um, it's one of my favorite things, honestly. And the ours actually has comes with a pan that we use. Most of the ones now do not come with a pan. A subscriber of ours came to visit us, and he actually bought this for us, and it has gotten a lot of use as you can see. Now this topper actually heats up just like the flat top stoves at home. It heats up evenly just like your stove at home. It cooks exactly like your stove at home. It's an induction stove I think they call this but um, anyways I love it. I love it for the summertime so that I don't have to use the gas and heat up the whole entire RV. Um, it cooks just as fast as your stove at home I, it, it's it's amazing for me um, and when those days when it's too hot and I would just want to make something really quickly I use this this is one of my favorite when we first got Harvey I made sure that we had to bring our toaster oven because I make toast in this I make toasted cheese in this I make pizza I make um, I use what are those chicken tenders in here I make nuggets in here everything goes in this I love it ours is very dirty but I do love this you can use a I think there's a broil oh I actually make french fries in this too I actually nuke the french fries first for five minutes to get them unfrozen and then I put them in here for however long this is right here so I put it in there for 10 minutes, I guess. It goes for 10 minutes. I put it on broil, and we have toasty french fries. Some there, sometimes they're a little too done, but they work for us. This actually came from our house. <laughs> we have the one from Harvey somewhere in storage, and this one is actually quite a few years old, probably about five years old, this one is. He's very dirty. Um, I don't always clean him, so I'm probably not the best at that, but... Um, He's got a lot of crumbs, but he does last a very long time. Another must-have in your RV. Soups, stews, pot roasts, spaghetti, spaghetti sauces. This thing is unlimited. You can make cakes, pineapple upside-down cakes. There's so many things that you can do with this thing. It's unbelievable. It's so versatile, and when it's super hot outside, this thing is so easy to cook in. And if you're going out for an excursion or whatever, you put the sucker on low and you are good to go for the day. You come home, you've got a hot meal ready to go. I love this thing. Crock pots are pretty inexpensive to buy. There are so many different sizes that you can buy. They don't take very much wattage to cook. Uh, and you can really run them on solar. It's really, really safe to run. Uh, like I said, if you're going on an excursion, you could put it on low and you can go out for the day and it's safe to run in your RV. Obviously, most people go through the whole RV, make sure everything's shut off before they leave, but honestly, if this is on low, it's basically like having a light plugged in. It's it's fine. So this thing is very, very old. <laughs> My aunt bought me this probably seven or eight years ago. I cook chicken cutlets in this. I have cooked pancakes in this. Uh, mine is getting so old that it does not cook evenly anymore. It burns in certain areas and other areas are okay, but honestly, it's still, I mean, for now, it's getting the job done. Eventually, I'll need to get a new one, but you can cook a lot of things in here. Um, you can cook, honestly, this is a great thing that you can cook bacon outside. Um, you can make bacon on one side, eggs on the other. It's an, it's an, like kind of like a portable kitchen you can use outside. Um, I use it in here if I have too much on the stove or if I've got too much going on and I want an extra cooking space, I can use this. All right, another feature that they're starting in newer RVs is convection microwave. I was so afraid to use this when we first got it, so I used our gas oven. Honestly, I don't use the gas oven anymore. I use this and it evenly browns, it cooks everything, it cooks things so much faster than in the oven. I make 
everything in this, honestly. Brownies, I make chicken, I make pot roast, I, everything goes in here. I'm going to show you the difference between the microwave and the convection part of this, okay? Um, these are the functions for your microwave, alright? You can actually do bake and microwave at the same time. I don't use that function because I've never used it and I'm nervous about that. Anything with metal, everybody knows metal does not go in your microwave, right? Okay, so I just keep metal out of the microwave when it, anything that says micro, no. Alright, so there is a feature, once you hit the bake brown button, you can put metal in here, which means you can put in a cookie sheet. Yes, I know you're not supposed to use your oven for storage, but hey, this goes into my oven. It's just like your convection oven at home. It moves the air around, moves the heat around. So I put whatever I'm baking on this, and then I will hit my my bake brown button, and I hit, here's all my, my degrees here. 100 degrees, 150, 250. I usually cook around 350, um, unless it's supposed to be 3, 325, depending on your recipe or what you're cooking. And then I hit the start button. Now it will go until it basically thinks it's done. You can either keep going after that or you can stop if, it, if your stuff is done. Most of the time I have to go a second time. Um, you can also do a timed bake. Uh, most of the time I do that if I'm making like chicken with potatoes and, and carrots and stuff like that. Most of the time I don't use that for this. I'll put that stuff in the crock pot. Now if you're boondocking, obviously you're not going to use your convection oven, so you need your gas oven. Um, some people are, a lot of newer RVs are just going with the convection oven and they don't have the gas stove anymore. I wanted the option to have it there. Maybe down the road I would get a dishwasher in here if we go out for a couple of, you know, like months or whatever, but for right now, I'll wash my dishes by hand. So the trade-off is you'd wash your dishes by hand to have that option of an oven. Yes. Yes, I will. Cause so what about the fancy dancy dishwashers? They're all fancy and everything else. Why well, honestly, you really don't have that much dish space. And honestly, you know, you've got your sink. You've got, and I'll, yeah, I mean, instead of putting all your, your dishes in your sink, you can put them in your dishwasher. But who really rinses their dishes every time they use them and puts them in the dishwasher? We never did. We always had a sink full and then had to put them in the dishwasher, waited until the dishwasher got full, then we ran it, then we emptied it. It was just like a whole nother step. I don't think I would travel with the dishes in the dishwasher. There'd be no way. No. I would definitely make sure that all my dishes are out of the dishwasher. Um, we also, when we do travel, we put towels in between our dishes. Any of you that have a dishwasher in your travel trailer or your fifth wheel or your RV, do you guys travel with your dishes in the dishwasher or do you guys, how do you travel with your dishes? One thing I don't have yet, which is coming, is a rice cooker because I'm tired of cooking my rice on the stove and heating up the whole entire RV. Basically a rice cooker is like a crock pot. You put all your stuff in there, turn it on, cooks your rice, perfect, and you're good. We're going to put a link below to every item in this video as well as the rice cooker that I will be getting so you guys can go down and click on the links and see what we have. Have you guys subscribed yet? Because I'm not sure you have. If you haven't, go down below. Click on the link to subscribe. Hurry up, peeps. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.